Top case removal. To begin, get your Phillips head screwdriver and on the right side with the CD drive there are two screws, four screws in the back, two here and two here. There is no need to remove the left side screws in the front. And on the back, there are two screws located here and one in the middle. There's also a Phillips set screw located here, 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 and here. There are also two located here and here. And the ones you need to remove are here, 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 and here, as the other ones are not needed in removing the top case. Begin by removing these. The screws from left to right in the battery bay are 2, 4, 7, and 9. Once those are removed, remove the three Phillips said that are on the bottom of the machine. Sometimes a flathead screwdriver is needed in removing three Phillips head screws in the bottom of the machine. Once those are removed, remove the four in the very back of the machine. The two screws on the innermost part of the machine are the longest of the external screws. This will be helpful in putting the machine back together. Once those are removed, remove the two screws on the side.
and the two outer ones located in the battery bay. Once those are removed, remove the remaining ones in the battery bay. Once that's complete, flip the unit over. Grab the top case at the two ends of the corners located here. Gently pull up and lift from the bottom. There you will see a ribbon cable Connect it to the logic board. Carefully lift up and out to remove.